All right, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Minecraft Season 2 Story Mode. Yes, the hype is real. Okay, so, um, yeah. Finally, it's here. Minecraft Story Mode Season 2. Let's go for the first episode. What do we have? Start a new story. Continue your story. Yeah, of course I will. Appearance. Uh, I'll be the same. Uh, we made a zombie, of course. Gabriel. and new responsibilities pull Jesse in different directions the, dis the discovery of a strange prison gauntlet leads our hero into a whole new world of mystery and danger but of course it does <laughs> okay I think I'm going a little bit crazy right now but it doesn't matter let's start our first episode part one Oh no, I forgot some settings, damn it. I always like stories where the hero has no idea that they're destined for greatness. The sort of heroes who are living their lives and assume that nothing exciting will ever happen to them. Those are the kind of heroes in this story. They started as just a bunch of friends in a treehouse, looking up to their idols who had come before them. But when disaster struck and an evil monstrosity threatened to destroy the world, those friends discovered that heroes can come from the most humble of beginnings. They traveled the world to battle that monster, facing obstacles and sacrifices every step of the way. It wasn't easy, but they had each other. And working together, they struck it down and saved everyone. Soon, they were the most famous people in the whole world. And their legend, their fame, just continued to grow as they explored more worlds, venturing into the great unknown. That's how those five friends, plus the bravest pig in the world, took their place in history as some of the greatest heroes who ever lived. Oh. Oh, uh huh. What part are we at? Am I being awesome? We thought it was great, Lucas. Although, not always technically accurate. Yeah. I mean, well, I definitely exaggerated here and there, but... It was for the drama. I mean, it made us sound cool, and that's a good thing. <laughs> yeah, but it might make people think we did stuff we didn't actually do. You're the writer, Lucas. I know you'll make the right call. Thank you, Jesse. I had been hoping to have it ready to read at Founding Day, but, uh, next year. I can't believe it's Founding Day already. It sneaks up on me every time. Congrats, buddy. I'm proud of you for finishing it. That took a lot of work. I'm glad you liked it. You did so much, Jesse. You're a real hero. But we all did, right? Yeah, we were all there. For uh, most of it, anyway. That's true. Um... Hey, come on, guys. We all did it together. We're the Order of the Stone, after all. It is a good note, though. I'll keep that in mind when I'm editing. Well, this has all been really helpful feedback, guys. Once Ivor and Harper get back from their adventures, I can add a chapter about them 
and then it will finally be done. Man, they've been gone a long time. Jesse, your intern. Jesse? No. Oh. Hey, Radar. Oh, gosh, wow. I didn't know all of you would be in here. <laughs> Olivia, ma'am, Axel, sir, you, Lucas, sir. So sorry to interrupt everyone. Oh, he is just adorable. My deepest, sincerest, utmost apologies if I've caused any inconvenience. Radar, don't be so formal. Cut it out with all the sir and ma'am stuff. Righto, right. Awesome. I kind of liked it. So, <laughs> what's up? I got a message from Petra that she's on her way to the mines. For that adventure you scheduled, if you hurry, you should still have time for that and your founding day duties. Ooh, nice. We should get going. Yeah. Uh, about that. We've actually got our own founding day stuff we need to prep for? Yeah, I need to get back to Boomtown. I'm judging a TNT rally in the morning. And I need to finish grading some redstone assignments. Uh, that's okay. I get it. You have your life, and so do I. Ah, <sighs> thanks, Jesse. Yeah, thanks. Petra will never let you hear the end of it, though. Tell Petra I said, next time for sure, okay? I can't wait to see how that sword of hers is coming along. Yeah, I'll tell her. I can't believe I'm walking out of the Order Hall with the Order. <laughs> Ugh, so freaking cute. So the other towns have founding day celebrations, huh? Of course. We were all part of taking down the Witherstroll. Right? Oh, I can check the settings. No, no, no. Why am I doing off? Redstonia even hosts a whole dance in Eligard's honor. Yeah, it's mostly TNT and fireworks in Boomtown. Magnus let me help design the firework finale this year. Well, I promise I will try and stop by. It was awesome to catch up with you guys. Totally. Yeah, this has been great. I really appreciate you guys coming out like this. I know it's busy. Yeah, man. Always love an excuse to visit Beacon Town. Thanks again, guys. I'll let you know as soon as I'm done with the revisions. Oh, cool. Can't wait. Axel. I tell ya, I am just the luckiest. Yeah? Oh, yeah. Getting to work with you, hanging out with the Order, and living in the coolest town in the whole world. Beacon Town! Some days you'd rather be out adventuring with your friends, but I'm really glad you're our leader. You just make this place awesome. Yeah, I just wish I could have hung out with my friends more. We're all so busy now. That is hard. But at least they come back to visit a bunch? That's pretty awesome. I know that Petra is waiting for you in the mines, but I bet people would really appreciate you helping set up for the celebration. I'll keep that in mind. Whoa! I bet one of those would look awesome on the Order Hall's front lawn.
The rainbow beacon. It's powered by the nether star the Witherstorm dropped. Oh, I know! Even before I moved to Beacon Town, I came on a trip to see the beacon. I love this thing. Harper having fun out there in the portal network. Can't wait to hear about it when they get back. you were out seeing the world. Did that? Righteous times. Thought I'd try settling down for a while, though? Like, I love danger and daring do as much as the next person. Well, you picked a great spot. Pretty proud of this town. Yeah, dude, it is awesome. Letting everybody be themselves. Super individualistic. House over there that looks like a squid. Righteous. Between you and me, I am worried that I won't, like, fit in here. So many rad builds, awesome people. I really want to make, like, a good first impression, you know? Which I thought might be helped if my front yard had a statue by the one and only Jesse. Not sure if I have time, but I'll see what I can do. Hey, hey, hey! This is going to be so cool! Scoop up that clay over there and let's get to business! A blank canvas. What? supposed to build anything.
Um, I kinda have no ideas right now. some sweet work. Nice. Oh, Jesse, dude, thanks. It was my pleasure. Well, it is an honor, mi amigo, and don't be a stranger, okay? Well, she is a fascinating woman, isn't she? Very free-spirited. <laughs> yeah, kind of reminds me of Petra back in her early days. Speaking of whom, you said she's waiting for me at the... Mineshaft. Mm-hmm. Not to pat myself on the back too hard, but there is a statue. Whoa! Oh, wink! Get back here! Leave Jesse alone! Hello there, Jesse! I was wondering when we'd run into each other. Thought we'd give this town of yours a try. It's quite lovely. Yeah, and I can't believe how many people are here. What are you guys doing here, though? Um, the thrill of adventure, I guess. And the stories of this place sounded awesome. Radar, this is Stacy Plays and Stampy Cat. Uh, oh, Wink. Here, Jesse, give him a bone and he'll calm it right down. Here, Wink. Nice, tasty bone. Aw, see? He likes you. Huh, yeah. You want the rest of these back? Nah, hang on to them. I've got tons. You never know when you're gonna need to tame a wolf. Well, thanks. I imagine you're terribly busy, so we won't keep you. But you should come and see what we're working on, because it's pretty cool. Yeah, what Stampy said. Anyway, our place is by the gate. Will do. See you guys later. Ah, those were the days. Simpler times. Let's move it! Oh, wow! It is really you! My friend told me this was a recreation of your first big build, way back before the Wither Storm, before all that stuff. Is it true? 
you have got to tell me more about it. I can barely even picture it. I have devoured everything Lucas has written about you guys in those days. Huh, <sighs> all right. I love talking about the good old days. Yes! I'm just so curious. Where does your inspiration come from? Was there a deeper meaning? <sighs> oh, or like a critique of the world, maybe? I draw my inspiration from my friends. We were a team. It was a group effort. Oh, <laughs> classic Jesse! I love that. The build I really wish I got to see was what you built to take down the Wither Storm. Now that must have been terrifying. What did the I actually build? coming apart at the seams? Tentacles everywhere? Yeah, we were all really scared. For a while there, it looked like the Wither Storm might win. Well, speaking on behalf of the world, I am really glad you were there to stop it. Oh, you are just the best! Oh, and thank you so much for taking the time to stop and talk to me. Not a problem. I'll see you around, all right? All right, everybody. Thank you for watching this video. And I, we appreciate all the support you've given us. And please check out our uh, playlist and you know, the next video, Patreon page, and random video. I don't know why. It's random, so go, go with it. And also, please like and comment and subscribe to this video. And... Subscribe to our channel, of course, not subscribe to the video. Right, and that's